Well then folks, as the camera's all set up, we'll uh, we'll get on with the next one and I'll do this one as I said I was going to do the other one and, and indeed the others. This one hasn't been opened. I can tell from the noise that the box or the model in the box doesn't make it's wrapped up better than the other one. We're going to have a look at it straight from scratch. I'm going to open the box and what we see is what we get. As you can see, like the previous uh, video of the tanker, we've got the same diagram on the side showing you the information about the spacers and the gauges to swap the gauge. Again, this is a dual gauge uh, wagon, uh, coach in this case, I suppose. But, um, they're all uh, dual gauge now, and uh, it's a very good thing, really, a very good idea, and a simple way of doing it. So, anyway, we're going to open the uh, the box, obviously being very careful not to stick the knife in too far in a minute. Just turn that round while I'll cut the tape. I'll say one thing, it's decent tape, it's not. <laughs> it's struggling. There we go. Now this is the bit I've got to be careful about, and I'm not going to put it in too deep and score it. You don't want to go slicing right in and then scratching the model. I think we're near there, right? We've got a Mask is open, so slide open. Right. Now let's see what we've got. Right. We have the wagon. I keep saying wagon as a coach. Inside the box, in a bag, if you like, of bubble wrap. Now, to be honest, I'd like to see more bubble wrap than that. Uh, there's far too much movement there for it to go round. Uh, I'd like to see. Uh, more bubble wrap, which is probably cheaper than having the cardboard frame, but enough to stop it moving around. Even scrap bits of cardboard, anything, just to stop it rolling around too much, but at least he's got something all the way around on this occasion. Right, so, there we are. Empty box, nothing there. Right. Let's have a look at the coach. Now, I suppose the original style rolling stock, the coaches and the vans especially, uh, not that there was much difference between the two really. They had um, cut out windows uh, and that was about the only difference. They had opening doors. They were nice looking wagons. They were reasonably, not heavy, really heavy, but they were a lot heavier than these. These are aluminium of course in, uh, in some parts anyway. At least not in all maybe, but in some parts. So here we are. Here's the rather smart looking uh, maroon coats. I do a green one as well and uh, I, I would like some of those. Being a Great Western fan I do prefer greens to maroons. Um, maybe a chocolate brown one. I don't know if they do one of those. Certainly the brake van is brown. Nice touch here that reminds me uh, the the cutouts of the windows are more detailed than the original uh, coaches and that does remind me of um, BR Mark 1's uh, so nicely done, uh, that's one side, there's no real issues there I don't think, uh, again it's the same um, or similar chassis, not exactly the same, it's a little bit longer, uh, and there's no cutouts, um, so that's not a modular chassis, uh, it's a little bit bigger, the, the hooks are made out of the buffer beam pressing, the twin buffers of course, riveted construction, nice looking Nice looking uh, bit of kit there, very nice. And the aluminium obviously does help. Uh, the engines are more powerful now, um, gas fired, uh, probably run a little higher PSI. Well, they do because they're 40 PSI, aren't they? The gas ones. Um, I must make a mental note to think before I speak sometimes. <laughs> um, what I would like, and uh, this is just personal preference. If there was like, um, even if it was only a sticker, and we do have some transfers, well, a bit more than transfers, if this, there was a sticker on the side uh, that you could put on yourself if you wanted to, there, that denoted a little door with a little door handle, um, a little vinyl over there, uh, and I know transfers, labelling is, is very much a personal choice, hence why they don't put them on now anymore they give you the transfers. That said in the last uh, I know things change, I know photographs were taken some time ago probably for the labelling the previous video, the tanker um, the picture on the box shows it does have a vinyl on the tanker 
the uh, Mammoth Steam Railway logo, logo um, vinyl. That's not in the box. I don't know if that's forgot or that's been changed. But so there we are with the uh, rather smart looking uh, coach. Very nice indeed. Let's see what else we've got with this one. I'm delving into the bag. So we've got an empty bag of uh, bubble wrap. And we have, hooray, one, I'll see that in the light, one chain link coupling. One is better than none. I'm assuming it's an oversight on the other one. Um, by your t uh, the time you see these videos, I will have emailed them. Uh, and we have, the um, these are on the, uh, pretty standard now. You don't get the, at least, don't think you get these um, on the tenders, these. Uh, should we say brass effect uh, on a? I think it's on a, is it aluminium. It looks like it's on aluminium. Yeah, yeah. Br brass effect. Uh, I can't really call them transfers, but um, uh, we'll call it labelling. It's it's not really a badge, is it? It's uh, it's a bit more bit more than that. Uh, what I'll do, I'll get rid of this um, sellotape on the back, and we'll have a look at one without the. Uh, the coupling being in the way. Now, many of you have probably seen these. I think the original Telford had them on probably first. I'm not sure really. But they have been around a while. But you notice they don't put them on anymore. It's up to you. And that's good. That is good. A lot of people don't like them. Now, my nephew loves them. When he bought his first coach with his own money, which I suppose um, is uh, makes it a bit more special, I suppose, I was there and I said, don't put them on while I'm here. Use a ruler, mark it up, you know, with a... Uh, a pen you can rub off later. Put them, don't put them on while I'm at You make a mess of it. You make it. Anyway, like any teenager, he couldn't wait, and uh, he uh, put it on. And I'll give him his due. He did it by just looking at it, and he did it pretty much spot on both sides. And I says, now peel off the front. There's a protective coating on there. There's a bit of like plastic, and then peel that off. And his reaction was like he went. Oh, shiny. He was quite excited at that. So, up to you whether you put these on or not. I don't mind these. They're not really something I'll probably use myself. Oh, maybe I'll do it on some and not on others. Um, it's, it's pretty decent, but perhaps a bit in your face. Um, perhaps a slightly smaller mammoth oval there with like I said before line drawing uh, of a door uh, and do that as a sticker so you imagine obviously that would be wider of course so you so essentially peel it off and put it there on a vinyl uh, I presume it's vinyl anyway so uh, just an idea um, I probably won't use them myself don't know really I might, I might they're not bad they're perhaps just a little bit in your face maybe because they're new and quite shiny and they dull down a bit probably with use and they'll get the odd scratch I suppose um, they won't look so there right in your face so uh, not bad uh, can't see any real issues uh, so riveted construction there's a slight mark there on the edge in the paint I presume it's paint could be powder coated I suppose um, but overall uh, not bad I think in the original type they had seats in um, but that all adds to weight uh, and uh, that, I do like that, that is really nice and I know it's probably uh, well yeah pointless maybe uh, if you're using mammoth curves but one twice as long on bogies I'd like that, that would look nice no real issues to speak of um, Again, around 50 quid, I think. Might be 47, on top of my head. Uh, the only thing I would like, well, let's say, what do I like? The finish is pretty good. I mean, there's just that, there's a bit of a mark in the one edge there. Just a slight mark. I can't see anything else to speak of. The finish is pretty good overall, from this look. Um, I like the fact that the, uh, well stickers, badges, whatever you want to call them, are not put on uh, and that gives you the choice because you might want to do your own thing, a lot of people do in the in the 
in the Gordon Railway world, okay, uh, full on Gordon Railway stuff is a lot more, shall we say, involved, complicated, if you like, uh, detail maybe, but you've got a blank canvas there to do your own thing, so that's good, I like that, that the fact that they ain't fitted, uh, and I suppose from a production point of view, it saves a bit of time, uh, so that's good, um, would love another coupling, uh, they are a tad long really, but that aids tight curves, it gives you more room to go around uh, a tighter curve, uh, the buffers not locked together, as they were with the original sets with the, the back in the 80s the, with the round coupling, just a single round coupling, uh, a wire coupling, and that's too tight for my liking on uh, mammoth curves, and if you've got that, and there's a simple way around it, get a small paper clip done, don't look very good, but it does the job. So, nice. As I say, I would like two chain link couplings. Uh, apart from that, very smart.